A'udhu Billahi Bismillahi Inna Wali Allahu Allahumma Salli Ala Sayyidina Muhammad Al-Fatihi Lima Uglika Wa Katimi Lima Sabaka Nasir Al-Haqi Al-Haqi Al-Hadi La Salatika Mustaqim Wa Ala Alihi Haqa Qadrihi Wa Mekdar Lazim Lakat Ja'akum Rasulun Min Anfusikum Azizun Alayhi Ma'anitum Rizun Alaykum Mufineen Rawfun Rahimun فَإِنَّ الْفَاقُ الْحَسْبِ اللَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُوَ لَيْتَوَكُّتُ وَهُوَ رَبُّ الْعَرْشِ الْعَظِيمِ اللَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُوَ الْحَيُّ الْقَيُّومُ لَا تَأْكُلُهُ سِنَةٌ وَلَا نَوْمٌ لَهُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ مَنْ ذَا الَّذِي يَشْفَعُ إِنَّ وِلَاءَ بِإِذْنِهِ يَعْلَمُ مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَمَا خَلْفَهُمْ لَا يُوَيْتُنَّ ولا يأوله هبتهما وهو الله العظيم السلام عليكم peace and blessings as we approach the last ten days of the holy month of Ramadan the last ten days should start on uh, Friday inshallah I think right now we're about the seventeenth day of Ramadan live from Mount Vernon New York at the Know Thyself bookstore we want to give a few reminders of the basics of our deen the basics of our way of life we are practicing Islam. Islam is revealed in stages as the Holy Quran teaches. We are on the path of Iman, Islam, and Isan. There are three stages to our deen, which is Islam, Iman, and Isan. Islam is just the beginning of this path. Islam is the practice of the five pillars which are I bear witness there's no God but Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad is the prophet of Allah the first pillar of Islam is called the Shahada the second pillar of Islam is the five Salats the third pillar of Islam is the Ramadan the month that we are in right now the fourth pillar of Islam is the Zakat or the charity that is given at the end of Ramadan and it's also given during the month of Hajj on the Eid. And uh, the fifth pillar of Islam is to make the Hajj or the pilgrimage to Mecca. Islam is based on these five pillars. The second stage is what we call Iman. Iman is your faith in Allah. And Iman is a higher station than Islam. When you are practicing Islam, you are a Muslim. But when you get to the station of Iman, you become a Mufmin. A Mufmin is a true believer in Allah, and the Mufmin is higher than the Muslim. Because there's a verse in the Holy Quran where the desert Arabs came to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and they said, Oh, Prophet Muhammad, give us some charity. We are Mufmin, we are true believers. And Allah chastised these desert Arabs in the Quran by saying, Say not that you are true believers, Mufmin, but only say that you are Muslim because Iman has not yet entered into your heart. You may be Muslim today and not Muslim tomorrow, but once you become a Mu'min, a true believer, your Iman is firm and your faith is firm and you will never stray from the path. Also about the Mu'min, Allah has 99 names. Ja Rastafari Salah the first. Allah has 99 names and one of his 99 names is Al Mu'min. I wait for the Rastas to chill. Little Jamaica and Mount Vernon, as you know. So, as we were saying, Allah has 99 names, and one of Allah's 99 names is Al Mufmin, the true believer. So, Allah says that He is the true believer, Al Mufmin. So, but above the station of Mufmin, Iman is the station of Isan. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad has said, Isan is to worship Allah as if you see Allah. And to know that if you don't see Allah, Allah sees you. Let me review and rewind the tape because there are six pillars for Iman. In Islam, we have the five pillars of Iman, Astaghfirullah. We have the five pillars of Islam, and we have the six pillars of Iman. The six pillars of faith are the six articles of faith, the six beliefs in Iman are we believe in Allah, we believe in all of the prophets. We believe in all of the angels. We believe in all of the holy books, but we know the Quran is the only holy book that has not been tempered with. We believe in Yom Kiyama, the day of judgment, the day of resurrection, and we believe in the divine decree, the cutter of Allah. These are the six beliefs 
or six articles of faith. Let me say that again. Belief in Allah, belief in the prophets, belief in the angels, belief in the holy books, belief in uh, the day of judgment and the resurrection, and belief in the divine decree or the cutter of Allah. You should study these articles of faith. So, the third station is what we call Isan. Isan is to be conscious of Allah, God consciousness. Isan is also spiritual perfection. And the, the Muslim practices Islam. The Mu'min has reached the true station of faith or Iman. And when you have the station of Isan, you are called a Muslim. The Muslim is the completion of Iman and Islam. Sheikh Ahmed Obama, our beloved Sheikh, said that Iman and Islam are made perfect by Isan. I do have a book in which I translated the writings of Sheikh Ahmed Obama. I didn't translate it when I lived in Africa. My teacher, Abdullah Farmi, translated the teachings of Sheikh Ahmed Obama on Iman, Islam, and Isan. Anyone who sends an email to me, sheikhsufi at gmail.com, C H E I K H S U F I at gmail.com, I will send you a free copy of the PDF of our book on Iman, Islam, Isan. It's called The Murid Sadiq, The Path of the True Murid. The book is also incredible. It goes over Iman, Islam, Isan. It goes over the eight principles of a true disciple. And it goes over the seven stations of the soul. And it also has zikrs and practices that can be done by the disciple in the end of the book. So. We're wishing you all a blessed Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Al Nur. Ramadan is the month of light. Hold firm to your fast, hold on to the rope of Allah. As you know, one day of fasting in Ramadan is blessed by 10 days of fasting. So every day that you fast in Ramadan, the angels write on your account 10 days of fasting. And if you were to add 10 days, stock for Allah, if you add an extra six days after Ramadan, of fasting, Allah will bless you as if you fasted the entire year. Al Fatiha. Bismillahi Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Rahman Rahim. Maliki Omidin. Iyakana Budu wa Iyakana Stain. Idina Sirata Mustakim. Sirata Latina Alam Talehim. Gail Maktubi Alehim. Wala Darlene. Ameen. We are walking on the path of Islam, Iman, and Isan. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.